The Time of Devastation At the time of devastation, at the end of Brahma's day, the fire of time blazes over the three worlds and everything becomes silent. The sun and moon disappear and a great fire emanates from the mouths of Shankarshana, Ananta, the serpent bed of the personality of Godhead. As hurricane winds blow violently, the seas overflow and inundate the three worlds with water. The Supreme Lord, the personality of Godhead Vishnu, lies down in that water on the seat of Ananta with his eyes closed. When the night of Brahma ensues, all the three worlds are out of sight, and the sun and moon are without glare, just as in the due course of an ordinary night. The dissolution of the universe is affected by the incarnation of darkness, Rudra, and the innumerable living entities merge into that dissolution, which appears to be the dropping of the curtain on the scene of the Supreme Lord's energy. This is from the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 3, Chapter 11, verses 28 through 32. Here we're given a nice pictorial glimpse into the nature of the dissolution of the material energy, or the time of devastation, then, uh, at the end of Brahma's day. Right before the night time of Brahma. Here's Brahma here, sleeping. And Brahma is the creator of the universe. And he is created from a lotus flower that grows in the navel of Vishnu. Brahma is in charge of this one material universe. Uh, there's many material universes. This one material universe, Brahma is in charge of. The four-faced Brahma. <clears throat> and here he's seen sleeping which just like all of us and we know in our world that we have to awake and we do so many things we create so many things we create our life we always have to sleep so so it is in uh, material time time in vedic understanding is cyclical it's not linear necessarily okay just like we have one second to 60 seconds and it rotates we have one minute to 60 minutes and then it rotates again we have 24 hours and then it rotates again all the way up into a year always after december is january we always have summer and winter time is always cycling so we can expand that and that holds true for universal time it's also a cycle just as there's day and night the universe has a day and a night time and this is happening right at the end of the day and into the night. The material energy collapses within itself and dissolves. And the living entities, which are innumerable and their spiritual energy, don't get destroyed. They sleep within Vishnu. And so does Brahma. Until the next day of Brahma where creation takes place and it expands out and the living entities are born again within that material energy. So that's an important thing to know that the material energy is devastated, but the spiritual energy, who are the living entities, us, are not destroyed. One thing I like here, it says, the fire of time blazes over the three worlds. For one thing, the three worlds are the three levels of this universe, which are the lower planetary system, the hellish planets, the middle planetary system, which is Earth and all the Earth-like planets, and the upper planetary system, the heavenly planets. All three levels of this one universe, fire of time blazes over. From Vedic understanding, we, we know that time, called Kala, is uh, always watching over our shoulder, destroys everything. Just like we know that this, this book, my hand, the wood... Everything material is always destroyed in time. And on universal terms, time will blaze over and destroy all of this universe, all three worlds. So that's one thing we understand right here from the beginning. I'll read a little further. Uh, the dissolution of the universe is affected by the incarnation of darkness, Rudra, that Shiva. Shiva, just as uh, there's three... There are really three aspects of divinity in the material world. There's the creator, Brahma, the maintainer, Vishnu, and the incarnation of darkness, Rudra, Shiva, who is in charge of destroying everything that's created, 
or maintained for a little while, then is destroyed. Okay, and the neural living entities merge into that dissolution. We all merge into that dissolution, which appears to be the dropping of the curtain of the scene of the Supreme Lord's energy. That's called the time of devastation. <laughs>